It has been a long time since uh, Muammar Gaddafi was toppled. Have Libyan authorities been trying to make this happen all that time uh, since Saudi and the others escaped the country? Absolutely, Sarah. The Libyan government here, authorities say that uh, for more than two and a half years, they have been trying uh, to get Saudi and others uh, extradited from neighboring countries where they had fled to. Uh, the Libyan Prime Minister Ali Zedan today saying that uh, this happened. Niger handed him over after uh, more than a year, since February of last year, of intense negotiations uh, between the two countries. If you remember back in uh, the end of 2011, uh, Niger said they were allowing him to stay in the country uh, for humanitarian grounds, uh, but he was there under house arrest and really uh, tight restrictions on his stay there uh, in Niger. Now, a short while ago, the Libyan government uh, released a statement saying uh, that the handover happened after Libyan officials provided what they say is uh, uh, proof beyond doubt of his involvement in what they say was a terrorist plot targeting civilians in Libya and aimed at striking the country's national unity and destabilizing uh, the country. They say they provided evidence to authorities in Niger that Saudi Gaddafi uh, allegedly financed and recruited individuals who were involved uh, in the bloody clashes back in January in Libya South. Those were really bloody clashes, scores of uh, casualties as a result of the fighting there in the South. Uh, the government and many Libyans really have accused former regime members like Saudi and others in neighboring countries of plotting and orchestrating some of the unrest that we've seen here in Libya. So a lot of people are relieved and happy to hear this news. But of course, Sarah, there is a concern here, a concern that's raised by many organizations about whether uh, Saudi and others would receive a fair and free trial in Libya. Can you give us some background a bit on just how people feel about Saudi Gaddafi? Because, of course, you have divisions that still exist there. Um, and, you know, what he meant to the country when his father was in power. Well, for many, uh, Sarah, he is yet another symbol of the Gaddafi regime that oppressed uh, the Libyans uh, for decades. Uh, Saudi Gaddafi, there have been no formal uh, charges announced yet against him. Uh, unlike his brother, Saif, and other regime officials, uh, he is not wanted by the International Criminal Court for war crimes. But officials in the past have said that he is wanted here for uh, his role, the role he has allegedly uh, played uh, in the regime's attempts to quell the 2011 uh, revolution in firing at protesters and other crimes. Also, Sarah, for many Libyans, he abused power, they say, uh, for his involvement in sport. He had a short-lived uh, career as, in, uh, as a professional foot. He was the head of Libya's football uh, federation. And there are crimes here that Libyans talk about today, uh, about him being accused of uh, killing a Libyan football player and uh, ordering troops to open fire in the 1990s on fans during a football match. So for many Libyans, this is yet another dark chapter in their past that they look forward to close with uh, Saudi Gaddafi being brought to 